In today's video, I'm going to talk you through my prep for my next bikepacking trip. Well, I'm leaving in under an hour to go on a bike packing trip with a couple of girlfriends. I'm really excited and I wanted to take you through some of my prep. So first I'll just kind of talk about what I go over on my bike to make sure that it's ready to go. One really important thing that you want to look over on your bike when you're bike packing um, before you leave, check out your brakes. If they're feeling a little squishy, if you're thinking, I should probably bleed those pretty soon, bleed them before your trip. Uh, check your brake pads, make sure that you've still got tons of braking material on there because when you're bike packing, you've got extra weight that you're braking for. And um, so you wanna make sure that your brakes are sharp and ready for the trip. I cleaned my drive train and lubed that. That's something that I do every couple rides anyway. Double check my fork pressure, that should be great. Some people add a little bit extra, which isn't a horrible idea when you've got a little extra weight on here. Um, I did a little extra PSI, but um, it's not a super rough trip that we're doing. I also taped my frame. I'm trying something new. I used electrical tape and then also, I've got so many things strapped to my top tube that I also used some old inner tube. I just asked the bike shop if they could save me a few um, road bike inner tubes and I wrapped that in it, secured it with electrical tape. Just because that was such a big section, it was just a quick way to do it. And then electrical tape everywhere else just to protect the frame from the straps. Now, if you have a bike packing purpose-built bike, you might not care to do that. But for me, this is my normal XC slash trail bike hardtail. It does have a few nicks and scratches, but I, I do my best to keep it, you know, pretty nice. So I did want to do what I could to uh, protect the frame a little bit. So that's what I did. I've used heli tape in the past, not a huge fan anymore. It's a huge mess to get it off. And uh, it, it can sometimes take paint and decals and things with it. So I'm not, I'm not a fan of the heli tape thing. Because this trip isn't like a super crazy technical one, I'm gonna run a little bit higher pressure on my tires, um, just with the extra weight, hopefully avoid any kind of pinch flat or anything like that. And also this is a good time to just check all the bolts on your bike. Just check where your derailleur is attached, where your brakes are attached, um, any component that is attached to your bike. It's a great idea to snug everything up before you go on a trip like this, hauling around all that extra weight. I added a little more sealant to my tires and I use Orange Seal Endurance Sealant. One more thing I did is I put a new Ergon SM women's saddle on. They sent me the Sport Gel one, which is, I think it's a little bit firmer than their other saddle, so I can try that one out. I ran um, an Ergon women's saddle last year. It's been awesome. They sent me another one to run on this bike and take a look at that. Make sure you check out my video. If you are a female rider and you haven't looked into running a women's specific saddle, um, I think a women's specific saddle, in my opinion, is a really, really worthy upgrade to make on your bike. Check out that video. All right, now let's start going over the things I'm gonna be carrying with me. So I have my laser and Paula helmet with MIPS. Laser hopped on board. They sent this to me to run this year. And I'm super excited. It's been a comfortable helmet so far. I'm glad they had it in white because here in the desert, wearing a lighter color helmet really does help with the heat. Those dark helmets will make you toasty. So this is gonna be great. Um, and this also has really, really good breathability. So that's another thing that's awesome about it. If you live somewhere hot, that's the laser Impala. Um, these are some lightweight Tasco gloves. They're great for summertime. These are the Jewel Bow sunglasses. Um, these are the Fury. They are not reactive lenses. I still have reactive lenses that I use for some things, but it's gonna be pretty bright and sunny. So I think those will fit the bill well. This is the Evoc Hip Pack. Um, it holds a liter and a half of water, as well as all my basic tools and a few basic first aid things that I carry every single ride. On the frame, I've also got two water bottle cages and I'll be running shorty water bottles. I'll have water in one of these. I'll have some Tailwind Nutrition um, Endurance Fuel in this. So Tailwind Nutrition just kind of keeps you um, topped off with electrolytes and a few calories so that you just don't get to the point where you bonk. It just kind of keeps you feeling good. Um, and here I have a rope that we will use to help us hang a bear bag because we're going to camp in the woods and there are bears there. I also have a bunch of my food and I'll show you more of that in a little bit. And here I've got things like my headlamp, 
um, emergency essentials like fire starting things. We've got a fire ban, so we're not planning to need that, but I just figure might as well still bring all that same stuff, some other first aid basics. Um, in here, I have my GoPro batteries. I've also got some spare socks. What else is in there? Oh, my um, toileting things. I've got a small titanium trowel in case I need to dig a latrine. Um, make sure that you do the research to do that properly because um, you can create all kinds of problems with the waterways if you don't. I also have my toilet paper and some little doggy bags like that you use to pick up doggy do so um, I can haul out my toilet paper. I know a lot of people are like, that's gross, I'm not hauling out my toilet paper. That's fine, just stay out of the back country. <laughs> toilet paper will get washed up and out of its hole um, <laughs> before it can decompose and I, it just bugs me every time I'm in the back country and I see little white toilet paper flowers everywhere because someone was just like, oh, it'll decompose. So we haul out what we take into the back country. Um, so take your toilet paper with you, dum dums. Don't bury it. All right, uh, up here in my Oveja Negra lunchbox. I love this one. This fits so much stuff in it. Um, so in here, I've got a little bit more of my food and I've got a pair of leggings to wear at night to sleep in. Um, in here, I've got my whole sleep system. So I've got a sleeping pad, a sleeping bag. I've got a bug net bivy so that the spiders just don't crawl into my sleeping bag with me at night. I've got a puffy jacket and I also have a beanie. Um, so these are my Oveja Negra bags. I've got to give them a big thanks and a shout out for making this and other Dusty Betty videos like it possible. One thing that is really nice about using these in conjunction together is they all fit together really well. Like you can see the straps are just kind of lined up perfectly so things aren't overlapping or conflicting with each other, which is really, really nice that I can run all of these. This one, I'm really, really excited to have this guy. This is, I think they call it the half wedge or the half wedgie. If you have a purpose built bike for bike packing, usually you've got a really big triangle here and so you can have this big bag that'll fit in there, but usually regular mountain bikes like this one, they don't have as big of a triangle. And so a lot of times those triangle bags don't quite fit in. So you could do a couple things. You could go to a company that does custom bags and get a custom one. They'll just ask you to take some measurements or you could go for something like this, which is just a half wedge. So I've got my water bottle cages and I can still run this and it seems to be fitting really well and you can fit quite a bit in there. So that is really awesome. I love Oveja Negra. They make really, really quality products. They make them in Colorado. I've been running these for a few years. I've got some good miles on them and they endure well. They also do some really fun limited runs of bags in like really wild, cool, crazy combinations, even though mine are a little bit neutral. So make sure you follow Oveja Negra on Instagram. I'll make sure that I link them. Um, so if you've been looking to pull the trigger on some bags and some kind of fun, wild, crazy stuff is up your alley, then make sure you check that out. I also have this coupon code for Oveja Negra that you can use. So yeah, check that out. The front loader is really awesome. This holds your dry bag of choice. It straps in really nice, everything cinches down. Um, these would be kind of prone to slip, but they have locking um, clips, which is really nice so that once you cinch it down for the day and get it nice and snug, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, this dry bag will also become the bear bag at night. This is a really short trip. We're heading out in the late afternoon and we'll be back by mid or late morning. On a trip like this, I don't think I'm gonna get super starving. I'm not doing dehydrated food. It's such a short trip. I just thought it's not worth the money to do that. So I've got a cooked up sweet potato right there. I've also got some chickpeas that I've put some yummy Penzi taco seasoning on. And then I've got some crispy jalapeno flavored potato chips that I can put on there for a little bit of crunch. I've got a little spoon that I'll be able to eat that with. I've also got a Tailwind Recovery if I want that. Sometimes that feels good um, if you're just feeling kind of hashed after a ride. I also, for snacks, I've got these 
um, candied chili mangoes, which are really yummy. Thanks to my friend Hillary for getting these for me at Trader Joe. They are yum. And then I also just have a few cashews. Um, the next morning when we head out, usually when I'm gonna be riding right away, I don't like to eat a ton for breakfast, but you know, you need something to be running on. So I've got some fig bars if I can get something down. I've got an orange and I also have some tailwind, which will supply me with um, calories as well as electrolytes on the way down. So I know I just kind of breezed over my gear in this video. You can check out this other video where I go over in greater detail um, exactly what pieces of gear I use, what sleeping bag, what sleeping pad, my bivy, um, um, all the cook stuff I bring. I'm going stoveless this trip because it's such a short, simple one. But if you want to see more of the stuff that I take on a little bit longer bikepacking trips, make sure you check out that video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to Ibis, Tailwind Nutrition, and Oveja Negra for making this and other videos like this possible. And especially my patrons. They are a huge part of making Dusty Betty um, a continuing project. If you want to be a part of the patron team, make sure you check out the Patreon link below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the trip. Get dusty.